Hi everyone, my quest to unravel the mysteries of this iOS app called WeatherMate continues. Amidst the savage weather of the recent days in the southern states, our weather maps layer in focus today is severe weather alerts. This layer portrays severe weather alerts, warnings, watches, statements and advisories from National Weather Service in US and Canada and Meteo Alarm in Europe. And the users can choose severe weather alert types from among a variety of options. Now using the legend, we try to find out what information various weather alerts convey. We'll also be having a look at some of the alerts not visible on the maps currently as we go along. But first we have a couple of special weather statements. These are issued for hazards that have not yet reached warning or advisory criteria. Air quality and pollution alerts tell how clean or polluted air is. The dense fog advisory is issued when fog that reduces visibility to quarter of a mile or less is possible in the advisory area. Here we have a small craft advisory which means that wind speeds of 21 to 33 knots are expected to produce hazardous wave conditions. And here comes yet another special weather statement. Warning statements and watches are also available for tropical cyclones and tornadoes. Now we can see we have quite a few flood warnings. This is a flash flood warning which is issued when flood has occurred or is about to occur. And again we have another flash flood warning here. Now let's move on to the severe thunderstorms alert. This is issued when a storm is approaching with hail three quarters of an inch or greater and wind greater than 58 miles per hour. Then we also cannot see lake and marine alerts currently, which encompass hazardous events that may affect marine travel. Few more severe thunderstorm warnings and watches. A hurricane warning or watch means hurricane conditions are possible in the next 24 hours. Another flood warning. A high wind advisory is issued when sustained winds of 31 miles per hour or greater are expected to occur for at least one hour. This is an aerial flood watch. Then we have winter weather statements as well. And here is a heat advisory which is issued when the heat index is expected to exceed 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Fire weather watch is issued when dry conditions result in a situation where forest or brush fires are possible. Finally, we have quite a few alerts here. So at last, we are done. Hope to see you next time. Till then, take care.